Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here, and welcome to another Ghost of Tsushima campaign mission on the channel. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this Mystic Quest here. Now, as you can see, I have actually managed to upgrade my um, armor, the Clan of Sakai armor, quite a bit. Um, I think it's on level 3 out of 4 I've got it to. I've also been to a... Um, Merchant to get some armor dies. So yeah, I've I've got I've got the the last one I need is that one there. Uh, so I need the supplies and I need silk. So in order to get silk, we need to do side quests, things like that. So we will be doing side quests anyway. I'm trying to cover as much of the missions as possible. Um, doing this. But what I've also done is so we started with this color. I've bought that color. Uh, when it comes up, that colour, uh, that colour. So we're going with the gold first, the Ancestral Force. I did quite like that one, um, the Blood of the Clan. Um, and obviously then there was Light of Victory. I thought I'd get those. just them three colours, so I got that as well. And there are plenty of flowers, so I might as well. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the, um, the gold for a bit. So um, obviously at the moment we've got Major... It'll give you major increase to melee damage and massive increase to health. So we will be we will be getting that as soon as we can. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's get cracking with this mission. So this is called the Unbreakable Gosaku Armor. Now there's a bit of a um, thing behind this, and I hopefully I've already done it. But basically. When I was liberating these farms, so anything that looks like a leaf on it, they gave me a key to Gosaku's armor. So there's six six farms there. Now, f I got four of them from down here, and I think I got one from here and one from here. So you go to the farmsteads, because if you go to collections, and you go to artifacts, I think it's artifacts, and you go to key items. They go key of a oi, key of Elima, key of Kuta, key of Kosh Koshimizu, key of Ohama, and key of Yagata. And it's uh, it says a one of six keys said to lead to Gusaku's armor, gifted by the farmers uh, of these farmsteads. And I've got six keys here. And then as soon as I did the I did the did these, and I liberated I think there was an area here to liberate. This mission popped up, or I might have spoken to someone nearby, and this mission has popped up, and it's moderate legend increase and Gusaku's armor. So, assuming I've done a little bit of stuff ahead and liberated the the farms, this should lead me to an area, and I think. Because I came across it, and it was either around here, or around here. I noticed, like, there was a bit of a high ground um, cave, and I went to it, and it looked like there was a closed door. Um, with, like, a symbol in the middle of it. So, I'm assuming they're all linked. So, we might as well get cracking and see what this is. Lord Sakai. Please join me. The tale of Gosaku awaits you. Gosaku? Tell me. Gladly, my lord. Two and a half centuries ago, Tsushima was terrorized by the Red Hand Bandits of Akashima. Around this time, a farmer named Gosaku heard the spirit of a dead samurai calling to him. He found the body, still clad in brilliant armor. Overwhelmed by the armor's beauty, Gosaku stole it. Before long, the Red Hand reached Gosaku's home, knowing the farmers would lose everything if the bandits went unchallenged. Gosaku donned the samurai's armor. The bandits charged. Kosaku's sword arm trembled in fear. He resigned himself to death. But blow after blow glanced off the armor, and Gosaku did not falter. 
The bewildered bandits staggered back, tripping over their feet. A mysterious sense of calm suffused Gosaku's body and mind. Impressed by Gosaku's bravery, the dead samurai spirit guided his blade. Before long, Gosaku cut down the final bandit, and the Red Hand were never seen again. Years later, when Gosaku died, the farming families locked the armor away for safekeeping. Each family holds a single key to the lock. Now Terra stalks our island again. The farmers of Tsushima claim to have seen Gosaku high on a hill, looking for a mighty warrior to protect our farms once more. Yep, yeah, so I've liberated the farms already and I've got the six keys. So it'll probably just take us to the area, which I think I already know where it is, because I stumbled across it when and now the Mongols are hunting for it. Well, roaming around Raiding farms across the island in search of the keys. Which farmsteads hold the keys? Aoi. Got that. Ijima. Got that. Futa. Got that. Koshimizu. Got that. Ohama. Got that. And Yagata. Got if that. If you find the keys, they say the armor is hidden on a hilltop in Akashima. The Mongols will never lay hands on it. Of that, I am certain, my lord. So... Yep. I've got them already. So... I'm gonna... F yeah. I'm gonna fast travel to here. We're going to get the armor. So, I basically went to this because I saw it. And then, oh, no, I think a bird took me to this. And then as I was looking around, I just saw this big, this big, like, hill there. And I was like, what's that? <coughs> Must be something on top of it or near it or something, and then. Hey. Right, I should be able to do four in a row if I get this right. I missed again, for God's sake! I'm always doing it. Yeah, there's the thing. Ow. Still want to fight me? Come here. You. Okay, so it was guarded. Because obviously, as I started liberating places, I kept get I was getting keys. I was like, "What are these keys for?" And then I saw all that mystic mission. First. And there we go. And then this is a door I saw. I should try one of the keys. Travel to the top of the hill. Oh god, it'd be Right. The problem is with the dark, I can never see where I'm supposed to go. There we go. Amount of times I've done. Oh, FYI, the shrines in this area? My god. If you do them in the dark, good luck. <laughs> At the time, I was going around in circles looking for things. Ridiculous. Oh, and if you die, you do actually just go back to the point before you died. Oh! <laughs> okay. Hang on. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Oh, for God's sake. Right, hang on. I gotta go back round. I've gone the wrong way. I think I have. I'm gone. Oh, 
Oh, this was... This sh shouldn't have been this difficult, surely. There we are. There's the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. I only saw it at the last minute, you see, so... Oh, God. <gasps> Me trying to get this armor. <laughs> Am I still? Yeah, I am. Okay. I was so confused. Didn't look like I was. Um... Ah, yeah. There's another one there. I didn't see it. Okay, that, that was there. I was I was spamming R2 this time, just in case. But all the shrines are like this. <laughs> or in so, like mazes. So it's ridiculous. So there it is. Here's the armor, let's see what it looks like. Let's see how we can upgrade it. Kosakazama. The Mongols will learn of its power first hand. Sturdy, surprisingly light. Oh, okay. That looks all right, you know. Armor worn by Gusaka, defender of Tashima's farmers. Uh, moderate increase the health, moderate increase the stagger damage. Killing a staggered enemy restores 10% health. And I can upgrade it. So, what we'll do is we'll head to Gosaku's headband. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we'll, go, we'll head to an armourer and we'll have a look. So, we'll go back here. And uh, we'll have a look at what we can upgrade, and then we'll look at what colours we can get it in as well. So when you go to merchants, when you go to different areas, so merchants in Totoyama, um, like colours are completely different to the ones you get in Izahara. No so I'm guessing. No sign of any other monks. So I'm guessing when we go into Kang. Kamigata, the merchants up there calls will be completely different to these two areas, so something to bear in mind. Right, so I'm gonna go to the armorer, which is over here. No, that's the so that's the swordsmith. Armor is over there. I don't want to start that mission yet. I'm got that's yeah, that's the mission I'm gonna be doing next. Um, another bird here. Um. Right. I work on all kinds of armor. So usually, because I got that many supplies, I can usually do a couple of times. But the supplies here might not let me do so. Yeah, two fifty. This will keep you safe. Let's tuck it to there. The bat look like. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, you need more to make these improvements. Ooh, oh, oh, I like that. I like that look. But I need the supplies. So uh yeah. With the wig on the bar that looks that looks cool. Um alright, let's have a look and see what colours we can have with it. I'll go back to the sake clan armor anyway. So the um the merchants over here. So trappers light over there and the merchants over here. The boy is over there. You, my lord. Oh, I ordered it. So yeah, they do different. Co so I've got that one at the moment, but it's also got that colour as well. Armor dies. So we've got Ocean's Guardian. We've got Sunrise. Oh, 
Okay, we'll get Ocean's Guardian. It help you bring victory. And we'll get Sunrise Demon as well, because that I like that colour. Okay. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. No, yep, Gosaku's armour. That is just there we go. Yeah, I prefer the red definitely on this colour. Anyway, that is where we're gonna leave for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye.